Welcome back to my channel Lomzi Sews. In today's sewing tutorial, I will show you how to cut a simple dress with v-neck design. It's a very very simple dress tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If that's what you would like to learn, make sure not to skip any part of this video so that you'll be able to learn and understand everything. To sew this simple dress, I'll be using this fabric to sew it. So I'm going to use the plain side of the, that is the back of the fabric to make the design. For the bodies, I'm going to use the fabric. So I'm going to use this side, turn it over like this and use it for the v-neck design. I'll set this aside and fold my fabric to start cutting. So this is my fabric folded into four, as you can see. This side is on fold, which is the front. The other side will be for the back. So the first thing I'll have to do is to mark a straight line where I'll be walking from. This straight line is going to be my shoulder line. It will serve as my shoulder line. So that's where I'm going to take all the measurements from. First thing I'm going to take is the shoulder to the armhole. The easiest way to get your armhole length is to divide your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. Next is the shoulder to the waistline. Mine is 17 inches, I'll mark it there. And then also from the shoulder line down to the hip line is 26 inches. Then the final length, which is the length of the dress, which is 40 inches. I added 2 inches to that for hemming allowance. I'll go ahead and square these lines out so that I'll be able to mark the circumference of the dress. So this is the shoulder line, the armhole line, the waist line and the hip line and then that's the final length as you already know. So this side that is on fold is going to be the front and this one that is not on fold is going to be the center back. That center back is for the allowance I left is for the zip. I'm going to add zip to that. So from the center front I'm going to divide my shoulder width into two. My shoulder width is 17 inches. I folded it into two which is eight and a half. I'm going to place the eight and a half inches here and square it down how to get your shoulder width is to measure from one end of the shoulder bone to the other whatever that is divided into two and that's the line you're marking here so our shoulders are not straight so we're going to make a shoulder slope on this place from here i'm going to come down to make a shoulder slope but before that i'm going to mark the width of the neckline so divide your neckline round your neckline by five whatever that is mark it there and on this place i'm going to come down 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope and connect this line like this Next, I'm going to mark for the circumference of the dress. First thing I'm going to mark is the bust circumference. So you're going to divide your bust circumference by four. This fabric has been folded into four, so that's why you're dividing by four. So I'm going to divide my round my bust measurement divided by four, my natural bust measurement. Divide that by four, and you're going to add 1.5 ease for the dress. So I'm adding 1.5 inches to the dress i started from the center front not the zipper allowance and the same thing to the waistline i'm going to divide around my waist circumference divided by four i'm also going to add 1.5 ease to that so i'm not adding any that it's just ease that i'm adding remember this is a shift dress so the next thing i also do is the same thing i've been doing i will divide my hip circumference divided by four the largest part of your hip circumference divide that by four and add 1.5 inches to that i'll go ahead and square this line down you can decide to make this smaller by making one inch lower than the hip line but i just want to keep mine straight i'll go ahead and connect all these lines so from the waistline don't connect it straight just connect it in a curved manner like this and you take this down I'll go ahead and make the armhole curve. So for us to do that, you're going to measure from the beginning. From there, you see where I placed my this thing. You're going to divide whatever you have by two and mark it here. This is for us to have a guide to mark the armhole curve. So I'm going to mark the back armhole curve like this. And from this line, I'm going to come in three eighths or half inch. Then you come in like that. So you're going to mark from here like this. Just watch what I'm doing. So this will be for the back and this will be for the front. Next, I'm going to mark the desired design for my neckline. So for the back, I'm going to come down 1.5 inches and then the width of the neckline, I'm going to make it four inches. I'm going to connect this line like this. This will be for the back. And for the front, I'm going to come down five inches from the shoulder length and I'll connect this line like this. So this is it after drafting the dress the next thing we are going to do is to add sewing allowance i'll add half inch all around here and for the side seam i'm going to add one inch and for the center back i'm going to add half inch for the zipper allowance so after adding all the sewing allowances i'll go ahead and cut this out 
the armhole is different from the front so first i'm going to cut the armhole for the back also the same thing to the neckline the neckline is different from the front so i'm going to cut the back first of all then i'll remove the back and cut the front so many times that i miss you I know how to go when I want to Now you got way bigger issues I want to add pocket to this. I'm going to measure from the armhole down to my pocket, which is 20 inches. Remember the armhole length is 10 inches. I made from there down here 10 inches, which is 20 inches, and I marked for the pocket spacing. The next thing I'm going to do is to cut facing for this. So I'm going to place my fabric like this, and I'm going to cut facing for the back. If you don't want to add facing to your back, you can decide to skip this. But I just wanted to add facing to mine since I'm not using lining. The facing will help to give volume to the dress I'm making. So next thing I'm going to do is to set the back aside and I'm going to do the same thing for the front. Now the front is going to be the design. So I have interfaced the facing I want to use. I have here unfold 10 inches and the length I have here is 19 inches. So I'm going to place my fabric, my dress on it, the front part, and I'm going to place it like this. And I'm going to first of all trace out the neckline, the front neckline and also cut out the shoulder line. And next I'm going to make the design for the v-neck we have for the dress. So you can notice how I'm marking the v-neck. Take note of how I marked this. It will help you to place your v-neck properly. I left half inch on the hem, on the lower part, as you can notice that. That way it will be easier for me to fold this and get a sharp v-neck. So I'm going to go to my ironing table now and I'm going to fold in half inch here like this. The same thing on the other side. After ironing it, this is how it's looking. So I made sure I made a crease on the center as you can notice. This will help me. So I'm going to place this wrong side facing the right side. Note what I just said. Wrong side facing the right side. Because I want my design to be, the facing to be on the wrong side. So as you can notice, I have aligned this. I'm going to sew this here. Come in for the slash and then come over like this and sew it. So let's go to the sewing table and I sew this. First of all, I'm going to mark the slit opening. So I want to come down 5 inches for my slit opening. It can come down more if you want to. If I had known, I would have even come down 6 inches. But I came down 5 inches. So this is me trying to sew what I just explained to you guys now. So watch close how I'm going to sew the slit for this v-neck. Next, I'll go ahead to sew the facing for the back, but this time around, the facing is going to face inside. So I'm going to do opposite of what I just did. If you want your facing to be out as a design, you go ahead and do the same thing I did to the front, but I want my facing to be inside. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this, stitch it down and stitch it on the main fabric. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry that the, my camera went, my phone went off camera. So guys, sorry guys. Before I started sewing the facing for the back, off camera I've already gone ahead and added the zipper allowance. So next thing I'm going to do is to use the, the front to sandwich the back shoulder. If you can notice what I'm doing, just sandwich the two of them together and you're going to sew that. After sewing it, this is how everything is looking. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to top stitch the v-neck design. So just watch what I'm doing. If you have watched this video till this time don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't 
Then after sewing the v-neck design, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the pocket. So I'm going to place my hand like this and just use this as a guide and cut out for the pocket. I'm going to cut four pieces of this. So after cutting these two pieces, I'll place this on another two pieces and I'm going to cut the remaining four pieces. So this is me placing this on this and I'm going to cut that out. This is four pieces as you can see. The next thing I'm going to do is to insert the pocket. As you can see, the pocket is neatly inserted. I did this off camera. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew the, to cut out for the sleeve. So I'm going to take the measurements of the armhole. It's better you take your armhole instead of using your round armhole. So after taking the measurements, I have cut out fabric and folded it into four because I'm cutting for the two pieces. I have a full tutorial on how to cut basic sleeve if you want to learn more on how to do that. So I use nine inches for the sleeve length because my client doesn't want it to be that long. The armhole circumference I got is what I use for the armhole, round armhole. I went ahead and marked the diagonal line and I marked the midpoint of the diagonal line. Next, I'm going to cut this like this. I'm going to curve this down and go up to get the sleeve head. Remember, I have a full tutorial on how to cut a basic sleeve. I'll drop that in the description section. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mark the notch for the center front. And then I'm going to place this on the fabric like this and mark this. I forgot to reduce the front the front armhole side. I did that off camera, but make sure you do that. If you watch my video on how to make sleeve, you will understand. This is it after adding the sleeve. Next thing is for us to close the side seam. Make sure you turn the pocket like this. And whatever you have added for your, um, for your sewing allowance, that's what you're going to mark here. And you're going to place this like this and sew it. On your machine so i'm going to align i use one inch for mine so i'm going to sew away one inch i'll go ahead and hem two inches in for the sleeve and also two inches for the hemline and this is it after sewing it guys can you see how nice it's looking very simple and neatly done as you can see the zip i went ahead i did this, this zip offline i have a video on how to make invisible zip i'll drop that in the description section so guys we have come to the end of today's sewing tutorial you can see how neat the pocket is looking yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye